hi guys welcome back to chill step campus so in this video we are going to continue the lecture and we will see about the css selector okay in previous lecture we have seen about the xpath now we will see the css selector so css selector is another process like xpath only okay to find the elements okay and you have seen the X xpath finds web element on the website however it is not the best process okay leave it i will tell you so css so css like we have used the xpath right so one question arises here like xpath and css which is better okay so uh, css is much faster as compared to the xpath okay so css is much faster okay it is more readable and programmers who are familiar with css coding prefer css selector only okay over xpath so this is for uh, just for understanding purpose but yeah we if we are uh, comfortable with xpath then we can write okay that is not an issue so it will uh, it will give around one to two seconds uh, lag only so that is not uh, major thing okay so we can use the xpath also so but how to write the css we have to understand these things okay see slash slash tag name at the rate attribute name equals to value so this is for this is for xpath okay this is for xpath for css we will remove this slash slash okay so it will start with tag name and this at the rate we will remove and then it will and all the value are same okay attribute name is value here we can say same thing we can give attribute name equals to uh, value whatever it will be the uh, attribute name and value name we can we can write only difference is we have to replace this double slash and this at the rate okay then it will become css i hope you already know this thing but yeah i am giving uh, from this uh, like i am just saying is from the starting so that you can understand about the css as well now css more attributes okay as we have seen for the xpath we will see for the css also so xpath we will write like this way and for css we will write like this way see okay slash slash star we are writing right so directly we can write like dot login dot for class okay and then this input we can write plus this input okay so we can directly write multiple attribute in this format okay and for this id we can write id uh, id will replace with has and class with replace with dot okay okay so has sign in with id plus this input is a value okay now substring match okay so in this one no need to read all the things just remember these things what is the uh, what questions they are asking we have to f uh, focus on that only okay so substring see sometimes it will art, ask like uh, this symbol equals to so it will the symbol of start with okay this is a symbol of start with okay dollar equals to this is a symbol for end with and star equals to substring okay again one more time uh, you can see this symbol okay this symbol equals to start with it represent represents the start with dollar equals to represent the ends with and star equals to represent the substring okay so i hope this clear to you now we will see some exercises so that you can brush up your concept see in css selector class is called class we can write like dot class okay so this will be the answer c will be the answer now uh, this one uh, dollar equals to so dollar equals to is uh css is used for end with we already seen here right dollar equals to dollar equals to means ends with and this symbol equals to start with okay now in css selector dash dash is removed by see this dash dash we, we are removing right so that it will become a css selector right uh, i will show you here we are removing this slash slash so we are removing but what we are writing here nothing we are writing nothing means white space so we have to give white space we are replacing it with white space okay so white space will be the answer okay it's a space okay now in css selector the id value is called dot id okay sorry has id dot is for class and has for is id okay so has id will be the answer now multi scripting syntax what do you mean by multi scripting let's see okay so suppose you have two test script so how you will write the two test script in a single function so like this way so module dot export we are writing here test case we are writing function and then we are writing some script right and then we are giving 
this one and the semicolon so the first uh, first uh, we can say script will be completed but if you want to write the second script also so we ha we have to give comma after this no need to write the uh, uh, semicolon we have to give just comma and then we can directly start with test case 2 okay module expert e uh, module dot export is there already present we will give comma and then we will uh, start writing our second test case and at the end we will use semicolon okay so like this way we can write two test cases okay i hope this is clear to you example you can see here so this is a single one okay single means this is a single script so suppose like module dot export so we are writing and then this is the some lines of code we have written and then this is a first function okay if you want to write a second function then we have to give comma and then we have to give the second function name and then add the, see this is a third function also and at the end we uh, we are writing dot end and then we are giving this semicolon so this dot end you don't want to write you can skip that not an issue but yeah you have to give this semicolon at the end so that it will say like now the script has been completed okay so i hope this is clear to you if you want to write multiple script then you have to separate it by comma comma and where you are seeing like all the test script are completed then you have to give semicolon okay now what is the benefits of multi scripting so we can handle our test case separately yes we can handle our test case separately by the test case name we can run okay it will be easier to understand and track if any changes is requested so how it will now suppose you will run this whole uh, scenario okay so you are like suppose there is some uh, issue so it will say like in this test case name this is the error so we can directly go to this search for search for user test case and change this this part suppose this input spelling is INP UTT so we we will get an issue right so we will change this input TT to single T like this way okay so this is the benefit of uh, multi scripting so let's move to some exercises so how to switch from CSS selector to XPath so to move from CSS to XPath we have to write like write like dot use XPath okay the page object folder should be defined in see page object folder so we have to write like page underscore object underscore folder okay not objects just remember okay so path and path is not required because we have to write for the folder so it should be a folder but yeah object it will be okay sorry object it will be path objects folder okay now how to switch from xpath to css selector so we have to write dot use css okay same like this way dot use xpath and dot use css we have used this one also right in our uh, night was hands on like not in that one um, like practice session you can see in my channel in that one i have used this dot css and dot xpath okay now how to call the element in the main script so if you want to call the element in the main script then you have to give right at the rate element name okay this is the syntax at the rate element name now exercise 8 how to read data from the json file okay so you have to read the data from the json file right so it should be start with dot set value okay set value and then we have to give the x path and then we have to give data variable dot username okay data variable dot username like this way you have to pass so answer will be c if you see the different option so dot set value that is correct but yeah attribute comma this one no first we have to give our x path and then attribute uh, we will send okay so this option not correct this one is correct but yeah after x path we have to give comma and then we have to give this one so dot is not uh, correct that's why the option will be c which of the syntax is correct for json defining so for json defining every should uh, like it will start with the curly braces first so this is square bracket option cor uh, not correct this is square bracket option not correct now between two this we have to check so everything either it will be a key key or value all the value will be in double quotes so this one is not correct so double quote double quotes like this we this will be a correct one okay so option b will be the answer okay you can see here also now how to call the json file in a script to call json file you have you will require using require okay using required thing okay now support browsers okay see normal browser so night watch generally support chrome browser okay 
नाइट वॉच जनरली सपोर्ट बाई डिफॉल्ट सपोर्ट क्रोम ब्राउजर ओके सो वेर वी विल डिफाइन अवर क्राउजर ब्राउजर सो ब्राउजर विल बी डिफाइन इन दिस सी एल आई अंडर स्कोर ए आर जी एस ओके जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस थिंग सो दिस विल आस्क इन अ क्वेश्चन लाइक वेयर ऑल द ड्राइवर्स आर लोकेटेड और वी हैव टू डिफाइन सो वी हैव टू राइट लाइक सी एल आई अंडर स्कोर ए आर जी एस इन दिस फंक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन अवर क्रोम ड्राइवर ओके ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सपोर्ट फॉर अ क्रोम ब्राउजर सो वी हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस वेब ड्राइवर डॉट क्रोम ड्राइवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर रन फॉर द फायर फोर्स देन वी हैव टू राइट वेब ड्राइवर डॉट गी को ड्राइवर एंड फॉर इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोर वेब ड्राइवर डॉट एस ड्राइवर लाइक दिस वे वी हैव टू राइट ओके नाउ वाट इज हैडलेस ब्राउजर ओके सो हैडलेस ब्राउजर मीन्स इट वॉन्ट गिव अस द जी यू आई मीन्स इट वॉन्ट ओपन अ गूगल फॉर अस इट विल डायरेक्टली रन द प्रोग्राम इन अ हैडलेस मोड ओके ओके सो यू वॉन्ट सी इन द एक्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट बट इट विल रन इन द बैकग्राउंड दिस इज कल हैडलेस ब्राउजर सो हैडलेस ब्राउजर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी क्रॉम कैनरी फेंटम जेस दिस इज अ मोस्ट वी कैन से इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज द वी एम वी आर यूजिंग फॉर आवर हैंड्स ऑन वी आर यूजिंग दिस फेंटम जे एस ओनली ओके दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट सींग आवर स्क्रिप्ट इन अ गूगल क्रोम और वाट एवर ब्राउजर वी आर राइटिंग वी विल ओनली सी आवर टेस्ट रिजल्ट ओके सो द एग्जुकेशन विल ऑकर और हेल्ड इन द बैकग्राउंड एंड वी विल सी द रिजल्ट ओनली सो फेंटम जे एस वी कैन सी वन एग्जाम्पल देन गोस्ट इज एग्जाम्पल एंड एस टी एम एल यूनिट इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हेडलेस ब्राउजर ओके हाउ टू यूज दिस हेडलेस ब्राउजर सी फॉर फॉर ऑल दिस क्रोम ब्राउजर एंड ऑल दिस ब्राउजर वी हैव दिस लाइन वेब ड्राइवर डॉट क्रोम ड्राइवर एंड देन वी हैव टू स्टोर दिस ड्राइवर इन टू अ बिन फोल्डर लाइक दिस वे वी कैन डू बट हाउ टू यूज हेडलेस सो टू यूज हेडलेस वी हैव टू डाउनलोड और एड द एक्सटेंसन ओके ओके एंड वी हैव टू एड दिस एक्सटेंसन इन दैट ब्राउजर वेयर वी आर वर्किंग ऑन सो फॉर इन अ क्रोम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से देन वी हैव टू गो टू डाउनलोड द एक्सटेंसन फर्स्ट एंड देन वी हैव टू एड द प्लग इन इन टू द क्रोम ब्राउजर सो दैट इट विल रन इन अ हेडलेस मोड ओके या नाउ वाट इज असर्ट सी असर्ट इज फॉर असर्सन ऑफ एलिमेंट ओके सो असर्सन मीन्स लाइक वी आर चेकिंग ओके सो इफ यू सी देर आर टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉइंट वन इज असर्ट एंड वन इज वेरीफाई सो वाट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू सी असर्ट मीन्स लाइक द वैल्यू शुड बी देयर इफ द वैल्यू वॉन्ट मैच देन इट विल फेल द टेस्ट इज केसेस ओके बट वेरीफाई वेरीफाई मीन्स इट वी इफ द इफ द एलिमेंट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट ओके सो इट विल स्कीप दैट टेस्ट केसेस एंड एग्जीक्यूट द रेस्ट वन ओके सो असर्ट वाट इट विल डू इट विल स्टॉप द एग्जीक्यूशन ओके इफ यू आर असर्टिंग एनी टेक्स्ट ओके इफ यू आर असर्टिंग एनी टेक्स्ट सो इफ द टेक्स्ट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट सो द स्क्रिप्ट विल फेल एंड द एग्जीक्यूशन विल स्टॉप इन केस ऑफ असर्ट बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग वेरीफाई सो इट विल स्कीप दैट पार्ट इफ दैट लाइन ओके and then execute the rest uh, rest uh, uh, script okay so this is the advantage of verify okay so you can see this one like client dot assert visible okay we are writing client dot assert visible so if this if this path is not there so it will fail okay it will fail but if we write assert uh, uh, verify instead of assert so it will still perform the rest of the execution okay so assert type we can see so i won't go much deeper into this one but yeah you have to know about this thing so i am writing this one so assert type we have used for dot title this is a assertion type assertion type okay if uh, to check the title of the page okay so how we are writing browser dot assert title and then title name we are writing to check dot value to check the ex uh, element value is expected or not okay value contains so we are checking like it is contains the expected value or not okay visible so the element is visible or not okay content text so the element containing the particular text or not like this way we have to check okay now assert type so assert type if you say so attribute contains so we are writing like the particular attribute contains the particular value or not okay attribute equals so the particular uh, element has the expected value or not okay so this is a syntax for that one okay now contains text so it will check for the element which will contain the specific text or not okay so these are some command we already using some of them in our uh, script right now command command is like uh, frequently we are using this command in our uh, script like dot click so dot click perform the click operation okay dot end it will kill the execution so this is also important okay if you want to kill the execution then we have to use dot end okay 
if you want to initiate a browser then we have to write dot init if you want to maximize the window we have to write like dot maximize window okay and if you want to pause pause our next tension until the defined time okay so if you want to pause like for five seconds we want to pause something so we have to write like browser dot pause okay so most of the things we are using our in our hands on also okay so i am not uh, giving much time into this one i hope this is clear to you all okay now uh, the same thing so if you want to switch from xpath to css so we have to write like dot use css so either you can write client or you can write browser okay that is uh, depend on you okay so dot u use css means like you are switching from xpath to css same thing for dot xpath means you are switching from css to xpath dot wait for element percent means you are waiting for a element to be present dot wait for element visible that you are waiting for so element to be visible in a given amount of time okay now the last one this also you have to remember okay how to take a screenshot to capture or save a screenshot okay either capture you can say or save a screenshot you can say so to save a screenshot what you have to say dot save screenshot s will be capital okay and second s will be small dot save screenshot s will be capital and sort s will be small okay just remember this syntax sometimes it will ask in mcq okay and for giving a value you already know like dot set value xpath and the define value what we want to send okay so this is for uh, screenshot and set value now let's move to some exercises um, the first one dash command verify the specific value if you want to specify the specific value okay so we have to write like dot attribute text okay that is scroll to a specific element if you want to go to the specific element then we have to write like dot get location in view dot get location in view so option a will be the answer just remember this these two to three answers okay so it is a very easy one just you have to see scroll to the specific element like we are scrolling right like this way how i am scrolling so scrolling means like going to some location so dot get location in view okay this is a function now to start or launch a browser we use the dash command so to start we are writing dot init command to stop we are writing dot end okay dash command capture the screenshot okay so dot save screenshot we are using okay see s capital s capital this is not correct one s capital and second s will be small so this will be the answer okay so disable part we will see uh, disable in multi multi script we will see in the next lecture thank you bye bye